Hello everyone, Luke here and welcome back to the channel. So in today's video what we're going to be doing is building a battery level indicator. The reason why I wanted to build this doesn't actually relate too much to the battery indicator, but I can imagine some of us are all been in a position where you go out and you try and start your vehicle, whatever that being a car, motorbike, a big old HGV lorry, and you go to turn the key and all you're hearing is chugga 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 chugga. And you're like, oh crummers, what's happened to me car? So you take out the battery, stick up the trickle charge, and voila, it starts. But sometimes that's not the case and your battery's dead. So for me, this has happened to me quite a few times. And one of these little devices set at 12 volts would do the job perfectly to tell me how much charge the battery has and it will indicate to me if it's dead or not. So that's the reason why I wanted to build it. That is awesome. Now it's actually time to build it. But before we do that, I'm gonna splash the schematic on the screen now. As you can see, it's quite straightforward and it's gonna be quite easy to build this. Now we know what we're doing, let's put out the solder and iron, the rest of the materials, and then let's get this thing built. So now we know what the schematic looks like, we need five 1K ohm resistors, we need five LEDs, I'm choosing to use three red and two green, and then we need a potentiometer too. And to be honest, I'm not sure which range the potentiometer is going to be at, so I've got a 10K ohm potentiometer that I'm going to be using. So the first thing we want to do is attach the first LED to the potentiometer. So the positive side goes to the middle output pin and the far right output pin and they both get soldered onto there. So let's do that. So now we've got our first LED attached to the potentiometer, what we want to do is just keep connecting these LEDs up in series. So we want to go positive, negative, positive, negative, positive, negative, positive, negative. So let's finish doing that. And this is what it looks like when it's put together. And I know at the moment it looks like a whole bunch of soldered components, but before we can pretty it up, we need to make sure that it actually works. So let's calibrate this to 12 volts and see how it performs. And there we go. So I've got my battery indicator connected up to the power supply. So what we've got to do is set this to 12 volts and then we can calibrate this to make sure that it's reading the full battery bar at 12 volts. So now that this is calibrated at 12 volts, whenever it drops below that, these LEDs are going to start getting less lit all the way down to the bottom, which I think is somewhere around 3.7 volts. So we can pretend that our power supply is a battery and let's say it's somewhere at around 10 volts. We drop that down to 10 volts and this end LED turns off. So let's drop that down to say 7 volts. There we go. The three red ones are only lit now, which is indicated, oh, the battery is low because it's on seven volts. And if we drop that down to five, you're going to see the last two being lit up. And then if we drop that down to three, you're going to see the very, very last LED lit up. Now we know that works, what I'm going to do is pretty it up by making a little case for it made out of one mil thick acrylic. So let's do it. So essentially what this thing is, it's basically a voltage divider circuit. And what that is in its basic essence is voltage divider circuits are used to produce different voltage levels from a common voltage source, but its current is the same for all components in a series circuit. And we can relate that back to the demonstration that I did uh, towards the beginning of the, of the video. When I calibrated this to 12 volts, I could bang 12 volts down this and voila, all the lights will light up showing me that, well, 12 volts is going down it. And then what happened when we turned it down to seven volts? Well, only three of the lights lit up and then when we put it down to three volts only two and a half lights lit up and so on. So what that means is that even though the current is the same for all components in this circuit there wasn't enough voltage to overcome them resistors. So we bang 12 volts down it all of it's going to light up because that voltage can overcome that uh, all of the resistors and I think that's what it is in its basic essence. 
<laughs> that was incredibly fun to build, and I have to admit, it made me go out and touch up on a few of my skills that I haven't used in a while, like my soldering. But not only that, it made me go out and research what voltage divider circuits were, because towards the end of this video, I knew what they were, but not, in, not enough to be able to talk about it. So that's really cool. And now this is going to get chucked in my toolbox and being, and it's going to be used when I need to use it because I don't have any fancy sort of tools at home that I can use to test batteries and I feel like that is going to do the job really nicely just to give me some sort of indication. And with that being said, that does bring me to the end of the video. I really hope you enjoyed it and if you have any questions, don't hesitate to put them in the comments and I'll try my best to answer them all. Anyway guys, I hope you have a great day and I'll see you later.